Hola con uh, los amigos. It's football and jueves. That's right. It's Thursday night football here with the NFL algorithm. We've been we've been crushing life. I've been crushing life with stock picks, with NFL picks, with other work. I've just been right like all the time. It's really been awesome this week. Um, so let's keep it going. All right. Let's talk about this week. Let's talk about week 11. But we're just really going to talk about Thursday night. If you want to see the entire week, it is sort of ready. It's prepped for the week. It goes out to the subscribers and people that pay for the uh, season subscription. They get it ahead of time. Everybody else gets it on Saturday or Sunday or when I decide to release a video and go through that breakdown. But you can get it ahead of time if you want it. But I will give you the Thursday night game because I always give you the bottom line. I give you uh, what you want to hear, right? So let's talk about it. So there's a game. Uh, coming up this Thursday, it's Arizona at Seattle. And the algorithm, even though Arizona's away, likes Arizona to win. Seattle's defense hasn't been looking like the Seattle of old lately. Kyler Murray is coming into his own, putting up some points, hitting Hail Marys like last week. It likes him here. You can get three points with Arizona because they're on the road. This is a pretty clear pick from the algorithm saying it likes Arizona plus three. There are a lot of ways to win that game. So I'm going to sign on to that pick. Even though the win score percentage is a minus 10%, I'm working on win score percentages here. I have them all set at 20 right now because I don't know what the optimal distribution is going to be. And I haven't run the macro. I'm going to do that tomorrow or probably tomorrow. Uh, or yeah, I'll run it tomorrow and then I'll get an answer and send it out by Saturday. Uh, but I just didn't have time to do that yet. So I just did a standard all the way across 20%. So that's okay, though. When you look at the picks here, the win score percentage is not as reliable as the point projections. The point projections are taking in players. And, you know, for those who escuchan en español, gracias por finding el error en los formulas y yo reparo el data here. Y I fixed this. Y funciona appropriately now con un numero de referencia for the passes, rushing, res, uh, receiving, kicking. I fixed this up to make it a little cleaner because I noticed that some formulas had broken here in the past and weren't bringing in injuries. So I did fix that. Now, I wonder if it affected last week. I didn't go back and look. May have, though. So it's interesting that we've got that cleaned up now. Thank you. Muchas gracias, everybody, for obviously looking through the file. I'm glad. You know, that's the other thing about getting people to subscribe to this and sending this out is everybody helps do quality assurance on this file. We just keep making it better. So it's fantastic. Now, let's talk about this Thursday night game. It's Arizona against Seattle. Russell Wilson, Caller Murray versus Yale. So Seattle's got more offense here at 6.1. It's located in the wide receiver care, uh, category. I wouldn't be surprised to see DK Metcalf, who they, they didn't throw the ball to a lot last week. What's going on there? Tyler Lockett's been getting a lot of, um, you know, most of the targets. I feel like Chris Carson, I feel like he's been off, on and off with injuries. David Moore. So these two, they could have huge games. This this could be set up to be a very high-scoring game on top of me liking Arizona because DeAndre Hopkins is magical and Kyler Murray. Look at Kyler Murray's 1.3 score on here. He is more, he is more powerful than Russell Wilson's 1.0, who's also a powerful player. Um, little youth versus some age there. So I can see why it's it's picking a really high offensive game. When you look at uh, the defenses of both of these teams, we're talking about Arizona right there. Right, We're talking about Arizona, and we're talking about Seattle. If we look at just both of them, we'll see that Seattle's defense is a negative 4.5. That's saying they got a worse defense than teams like Houston and things, right? Right? Like, that's crazy. That is a very miserable defensive. If we start sorting this thing, ascending, saying which are the worst defensive teams by ranking, you have Dallas on top. I'm not shocked at that. Jacksonville, not shocked at that. And Seattle, I am shocked at that. That is Fascinating. So Russell Wilson's really been keeping them in games while their defense has not. Detroit, Jets, Atlanta, Cleveland. You would not expect to see Seattle, see Seattle in there. That is another reason why I'm even more liking this Arizona plus three. So I, I, I do like that pick. And the algorithm likes that pick, four and a half minutes in. Um, is there anything you want to talk about? I'm not going to talk about the rest of the week yet um, as injury reports will be updated. Um, how about last week? Uh, if we open things up and see results, 
Uh, is there anything we care to look at? I mean, overall, we did lose the Monday night game in a couple of different ways, in every way possible, actually. Point projection, spread, and score. Uh, Chicago did not perform. So uh, five and nine by win score percentage when you're descending by point projections. Well, how about when you're descending by, um, let's see here. Let's, let's go descending by win score. Let's see how the, how the week really was. And week 10, what is being filtered here? Oh, just yes, that's why. All right, so let's do this. What I'm doing is looking at it a couple different ways to say, uh, you know, how well did the algorithm do by that win score percentage number here? The answer is 10 and 4. Uh, it did go 10 and 4 last week with the distribution it gave. It's, that's not bad. Lost the Ravens against the Patriots. That happens. That was weather. Lost the Eagles against the Giants, but the rest of the file told you to take the Giants. Uh, lost the Seahawks against the Rams, but the rest of the file told you to take the Rams. And lost Tennessee but with Indianapolis, and that was a Thursday night game that was pretty close in here. So a lot of good, a lot of good things from last week. Really, a lot of good things from last week. I mean, there's so many different ways to look at this, right? Usually, I say looking at it by did we think the team was going to cover the spread? This team over here. That's why I clicked this yes over here for. The answer is we were nine and five on that last week. We lost the Bears, Broncos, Chargers. We lost some games down here, but especially when you sort this by descending by profit uh, projected margin of victory, you get something like this. This is what I'm really going for. Is I'm trying to find games it picks on the spread and it knows whether to pick them with the points or without the points, and a bunch of wins right up top because. We, when you're sorting this by projected margin of victory descending, we are saying that the, the biggest, bestest pick we thought of the week was the Rams over the Seahawks last week. And what happened? The Rams beat the Seahawks by seven, and they were only they only needed to beat them by two and a half. So that's great. They covered. We thought Pittsburgh was going to beat Cincinnati. Ben came off the COVID list late and stuff like that. We thought they'd win by seven. They won by 26, right? They're undefeated team. I wouldn't go against them this week either. And playing Jacksonville, I mean, what are the odds that they're going to break their undefeated season against Jacksonville? Very slim. We love the Giants. I talked about that in the video last week. They covered the spread. They won. Indianapolis was Thursday night. We liked Houston. This was a weather game, and it was why it was low scoring, but they did barely cover the spread. Then things get a little hazy down here, but this, this is five. If you throw five of those teams in a, you know, top four, top five in a parlay or Red Robin, you're going to make a lot of money. Uh, so I, I just i am very happy with what the algorithm did last week, and hopefully we can continue that this week. So um, so there it is. Oh, my God, I'm showing the games. Lucky you. All right, this will get updated, though, so understand that this will change. But enjoy, everyone, and uh, go subscribe on KenBraveBloom.com for the season uh, to get this file and to uh, encourage me to keep working on it even when I, you know, just, just for everybody else. All right, so good luck, everybody.